it's Ruri at Clodden Painting Studio and in today's painting guide I'm going to paint an AB Miniatures 18mm uh, Spanish uh, militia model. Um, it's had a spray of oak brown from the army painter um, and the first thing I'm going to do for this Napoleonic era figure is to give it a dry brush with some Vallejo beige brown and that'll just help create a, a bit of shading um, and highlighting for the main colour on this model, which is going to be brown. With some Army Painter tanned flesh, we'll pick out the skin. Now comes some Vallejo Black Grey and I'm picking out the cartridge box. Also pick out shoes. Do the other one in a second. Pick out his hair. And lastly, there's a little knife here, so we'll just pick out the sheath. Adding a welcome splash of brightness to the model is some Army Painter Pure Red. As I go around the fatigue cap. I'll use this for the facings on the jacket as well. So the collar, the cuffs, and what little of the lapels we can make out. Some Vallejo Extra Opaque Heavy Sienna, and I'm using this reddish brown on the wood of the musket just differentiating the material from the cloth by using this different toned brown. Back with my dry brush I've got some Vallejo Game Colour Elphic Flesh. Um, we'll give everything a, a dry brush It's a quick highlight method and also helps to impact just a little bit of a sort of a dusty feeling to the model. Dip my brush back into the alphic flesh and I'm going to use that to bring out this little knapsack. Next paint on the palette is some Vallejo Off-White. I'm going to pick out the strap on the musket. And the top of the cap. And the shoulder strap. For the bayonet and musket barrel, we've got some Army Painter plate mail metal. I have some Army Painter strong tone in a one to one ratio with quick shade mixing medium. I apply this all over the model. Um, to shade and define surfaces where edges meet and where folds are. And here we can see our militia 
in a mix of civilian clothing and uniforms, all marching off to uh, chase uh, Napoleon out of Spain. Um, there's a couple of extra colours added in for a bit of variety, um, some um, tans, lighter browns, uh, greens. But because it's a, a limited uh, palette of colours, um, everything looks right together um, while still having individual uh, variety uh, throughout the uh, selection of models. Um, and by using the same colours and different orders across um, troops that represent um, irregular forces, you have it something that looks right on the table and is not a, a mess of, of jarring uh, colours. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, that's it for today. Um, I'll be back again soon. Please let me know what you think below.